Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. Paul desired to visit them again. As for us, brothers, when we were separated from you for a little while, not in our thoughts, of course, but only in body, how we missed you and how hard we tried to see you again. We wanted to go back to you. I, Paul, tried to go back more than once, but Satan would not let us. After all, it is you, you and no one else, who are the hope, our joy, and our reason for boasting of victory and the presence of the Lord Jesus when he comes. Indeed, you are our pride and our joy. Finally, we could not bear it any longer, so we decided to stay on alone in Athens. Why, we sent Timothy, our brother who worked with us for God in preaching the good news in Christ. We sent him to strengthen you and help your faith, that none of you should turn back because of these persecutions. You yourselves know that such persecutions are part of God's will for us. For while we were still with you, we told you ahead of time that we are going to be persecuted and as well know that is exactly what happened. That is why I had to send Timothy. I could not bear it any longer. So I sent him to find out about your faith. Surely it could not be that the devil had tempted you and all our work had been for nothing. Now Timothy had come back to us from you and he had brought the welcome news about your faith and love. He has told us that you have always think well of us and that you want to see us just as much as we want to see you. So in all our trouble and suffering, we had been encouraged about your brothers. It was your faith that encouraged us, for now we really live if you stand firm in your life in the Lord. For now we can give thanks to God for you. We thank him for the joy we have before our God because of you. Day and night we ask him with all our heart to let us see you personally and supply what is needed in your faith. May our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus prepare the way for us to come to you. May the Lord make your love for one another and for all people grow more and more and become as great our love for you. In this way, we will make your heart strong and you will be perfect and holy in the presence of our God and Father when the Lord Jesus comes with all who belong to him. So this chapter is written uh, from the perspective of Paul and the disciples wanted to visit uh, these Christians and could not because during this time the disciples were being persecuted, um, either put in jail or um, chased out of towns for speaking the truth about God. So it would be, would have been dangerous for them to come to this area because um, they were um, being looked for uh, to be arrested. Um, so during this time, they would write to um, the Christians in this area and let them know that they were thinking of them and wanted to be with them, but could not do so physically. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. Uh, we will start on chapter two next.